Hi, my name is Greg Wendt, and I'm the Executive Director of the Security Solutions here at AppSean, and I'd like to welcome you to our quick demo on multi-factor and single sign-on. Here at AppSean, what we do is we have an application security platform that will protect the PeopleSoft system against modern security threats. We do that by multiple ways. One is strengthening user authentication. Two, differentiate access privileges in a remote environment. And three, we can have real-time data access and usage insights via our Appsian 360 product. We have over 250 customers worldwide, and we are an Oracle Gold partner. And with that, I'll switch over and start the demo up real quick. From a demo flow, I wanted to log in as a self-service user, as Vicky Zinn, to Office 365. Inside of Office 365, we have a SharePoint site that allows users to access the PeopleSoft system directly from Office. This will show the transition of the user accessing the system. It's a deep embedded link of PeopleSoft from an ADFS launch point. You can see the URLs up at the top of the application security platform communicating back and forth to the identity provider. This is any SAML2 or ADFS identity provider we can communicate with. There's an attribute that's handed back and forth that allows us to map into the system as Vicky Zinn. You can see that we've got some additional fields masked here through our application security platform. I'm going to go ahead and go back to home since I have full access and all of my roles and permissions. I'm going to go ahead and go to the banking tab. What we've done here is we've implemented a very targeted multi-factor authentication based upon somebody accessing bank account information. This can be done, you know, when they're accessing remotely, coming in from off of your network. What happens is it's a field mask that's embedded with a multi-factor authentication. So it's a targeted MFA. I'm going to go ahead and do the push notification, have that come through and approve that real quick. So once that user does pass the multi-factor stepped up authentication, then they're going to have access to that account number and they're going to be able to update that information as they see fit. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new Cognito window, and I'm going to go drive in directly to the PeopleSoft system this time without having authenticated. And you're going to see that I'm going to be pushed over immediately to the identity provider for that authentication request. I'm going to go ahead and put in the credentials. And what you'll see is I'm now going to land in the PeopleSoft system. I'm now as a higher privileged user accessing the system. And what's important at this particular point in time is we can actually then inject that multi-factor where and when it's important. So I'm going to go ahead and open up, say, the reporting tools, because if somebody's allowing access to query remotely without having to go through a multi-factor, that's a large risk for data exfiltration. So I'm going to go ahead and see that that MFA is injected into the process at that particular point in time when somebody is attempting to access very high privileged pages. So with that, I passed the targeted MFA, and you can see that I'm now dropped into the query manager. One of the things that I'd like to point out is the difference between the understanding of the multi-factor and where the user was in the application. For that self-service user, you can see that we brought them right back to the information that they requested, that bank account information. In this situation, we understood where that user was inside of the application, so we could bring them right back to the query manager. The single sign-on really understands deep embedded links, so if you're utilizing workflows, any sort of situation like that, you can take and drive directly into the application off of those emails. So with that, I wanted to wrap up the demo of SSO and MFA. I'd like to thank you for attending today. I appreciate your time. 